Hello everyone, uh, this is just a continuation to the previous hydraulic calculation that we did. Uh, you may check the video about the hydraulic calculation. I have provided the link below so you can check it out. And also feel free to um, comment your questions if you have one or two. And if you think that I've missed something along the calculation, um, do let me know. It's greatly appreciated if, you, if, you're, if you're able to do that. Okay, so the last time, the last part of our solution, uh, we were able to come up with a total of 178 gallons per minute and a total pressure of 11 PSI. Okay, this is the table that we have to fill out. Now first, the water supply. Now the water supply is just the supply of water, of course, to our water sprinkler. We already know that the total flow rate would be 178, it's 177.59. So that's going to be the minimum least requirement of volume flow for our water supply. We can input that here is 180 gallons per minute. And the time, uh, that's actually dependent on the type of, of the classification the hazard. We're going, going back to our table. The, the occupancy in our, in our problem was light hazard. We are to, to input the time. So we're going to be using 30 minutes. So we input that in 30 minutes. So basically, um, for the total fire reserve, all you need to do is to multiply the flow rate times the time. So if you have the total fire reserve, that's just equal to the Q hose, the flow rate times the time. And we all know if we go back to our table, that's 180 here, 180 times 30 minutes. So that's 180, 180 gallons per minute multiplied by 30 minutes. Let's cancel it out. So we have a total of one, 180 times 30. If we get our calculator here, so that's 180 multiplied by 30, that's a total of 5,400. Now, we, we actually need to convert this because if you go back to the table, it's in cubic meter okay so let me just do the the math here first hold on where's my all right so that's 5400 400 gall gallons uh this is the conversion factor that i was able to find 3.78541 liters per gallon. You multiply that by 3.78541 and that's 20,000 20, four, four, one liters. There are 1,000 liters per cubic meter. So basically we have an answer of 20.441 cubic meters. So this is our total power reserve and we can input that in our table 20.44 cubic meter. Now for pump head this one this is just equal to the total pressure and you divide that by 0 0.4331 now this is actually just a conversion to convert the pump head in feet to the total pressure in psi or vice versa so you've got a 0 0.4331 factor our total pressure that we solved previously was 10.81 psi or we round that up to 11 PSI. So we divide that by 0 0.4331. We get the answer in feet. All right, so that's 11 divided by 0 0.4331. That's 25.4. Let's just make it 25.4 feet. Okay, so this is our answer for the, the total fire reserve and our fire pump head is 25.4 feet. We, we can then input that in our table is 25.4, that was 95.4. Now, the power rating, power pump rating, this is just equal to gamma flow rate times the pump head. Now, if we divide this by the efficiency, we'll get an actual power pump rating. We have to assume an efficiency, a realistic efficiency. We can consider a realistic efficiency, which is a conservative in the range of 50 to 60 percent. Okay, now we may take our efficiency to be, say, 60 percent, that, that would still be a conservative 
assumption of the efficiency if you're not provided with one. Though you can also use 100%, but we all know from second law of thermodynamics that it's impossible to have a system that's 100% efficient. Anyway, the gamma for our system, which is, which is water here, is 62.4. I'm just going to put the units because we need to do a little of unit analysis here. You multiply that the Q, which is 17, hang on, what was it again? Uh, oh, 180. One, okay, we're calling this, this is our flow rate, so that's going to be 180. 180 gallons per minute and then you multiply that with the pump head of 25.4 feet now if we, we make this as pound a foot per minute that's already a unit of power however we need to cancel this out too because both of these units are units of volume so our conversion factor we've got per cubic there are 7.48 gallons and with this we will be able to cancel this out and this one now we, we are left with pound for a minute which we can further multiply this with a fact so for hp there are actually 33,000 pound foot per minute now with this we can cancel all this units pound there's pound, there's foot, there's foot, there's minute, this minute now we're left with hp okay now, if we get our calculator here, we can then calculate 62.4 multiplied by 180 multiplied by 65.4, sorry, 25.4, 62.4, 180 times 25.4. We can divide everything with 0.6, this one, and then divide that, we'll put this one here in the denominator and this one in the denominator. So that's 0 0.6 times 7.48 times 33,000, and we'll have 1.92. Let's just convert that to 2 HP. So this is our power pump rating. We can then put that in our table. Now we're, we're done with this part of the table here. Um, let's go ahead and put the jockey pump volume flow. So for the jockey pump, uh, the volume flow, we can assume to have that at least about 10 GPM. Uh, that's that can that's actually a, a standard GPM. Um, as for the operating pressure, what you can do there is you can also add about 10 PSI on top of the total fire pump operating pressure that you were able to, to calculate. Now, if we've got about 11 here, the fire pump pressure, 11 PSI, we add 10 PSI there so we can have our operating pressure for a jockey pump at 11 PSI. Now, for the pump head, that's what we're going to calculate. It's the same as the fire pump head, but this time, instead of using the pressure of 11 PSI, all you need to do is use the pressure of the jockey pump head. So for our jockey pump head, this is equal to the operating pressure all over 0 0.4331. So again, um, this is just a unit, a conversion factor. I mean, a unit unit conversion from PSI to, to feet of pressure. Now, if we've got 21 here, that's 21 PSI over 0.4331. Calculate that 21 divided by 4.4331. So that gives us with a pump head of 48.5. Let's just put that here, 48.5 PSI. Now as for the pump rating, oh, let's just input this in our table first, 48.5. And for the pump rating, it's the same as the Q gamma H formula over the efficiency. So again, the conservative efficiency is about 0.6. That's the one that we assume. Um, the flow rate here that we've input is about 10. Again, that's dependent on what type of jockey pump um, you're using. You can have that from the technical data of the manufacturer. But you've got the flow rate of 10 here. That's what we've assumed, the gamma of 62.4. I'm not going to put the units here. We already did it on this part here, this one. This is just the same unit analysis as here. So we'll just input the values and we'll put the, the factors in our 
in our equation. So we've got 62.4 in the height was 48.5. It's not PSI, sorry. This should be feet. Uh, this is in feet. 48.5. And remember, um, from this solution here, we've divided this whole part here with 7.48 and 33,000. So that's what we're going to do in this part. So that's 7.48 and 33,000 and we should be able to get the power the pump rating in hp okay so that's that's 10 multiplied by 62.4 multiplied by 48.5 all over 0. 0.6 multiplied by 7.48 multiplied by 33,000 so we've 0. 0.2 hp so that's what we're gonna and and we're done that's 0 0.2 hp we're done after we put that here all right so that's everything for the continuation of our hydraulic calculation if you think i've missed something again uh, please do comment below your questions if, or let me know if i've missed something it's going to be greatly appreciated so we can have it changed thank you